Hello, Preston. Our lesson today is about the repeated multiplication. What is the meaning of repeated multiplication? When we have a power like 2 power 3, so it means that when we repeat 2 3 times by the multiplication operation. So 2 power 3, it means it's 2 multiplying by 2 multiplying by 2 3 times. So the power, it means we repeat the multiplication three times. Two power three, it means two times two times three. What is the meaning of nine power two? Nine power two, what is the meaning of power? We will repeat the number by the multiplication operation. So nine power two, it means nine multiplied by nine. So that is the meaning of nine power two. So number one, repeated multiplication, we will repeat the number by the multiplication operation. Like two power three, we repeat two, three times. And the nine power two, we will repeat nine, two times. And uh, the answer will be nine times nine. If we have a fraction like that, and we have two over three, all power four. So we have two over three, we will be repeated. It will be repeated four times by the multiplication operation also. So two over three will be two over three times two over three times two over three times two over three. So we will be the two over three four times, four times. We have another solution that you can distribute four among the numerator and the denominator. So two over three, we repeat two over three four times because it's a two over three to the power four. So it means the two over three by two over three by two over three by two over three. So we repeat it two four times by the multiplication operation and we repeat it three in the denominator four times also. So you can distribute four up and down on the numerator and the denominator. So it will be two to the power four because two by two by two by two, it means two power four over also three power four. So you have two ways. The first way is to take two over three all, and after that, it's also to repeat it four times by the multiplication, or you can distribute the power up and down. So two over three all power four, it means the two power four over three power four. You have, uh, now where you have uh, some rules. So the, the first rule is, you have if you have a, a number or a fraction to the power zero so it means it's equal to one so like a over b or power zero equals one negative a over b power zero one third power zero equals to one two power zero equals to one okay from where simply if you have two power zero from where it means the two divided by two because there's two power one here and two power one here and if we have the same base, if you remember the first term we took it, we took it before, if you have the same base, so you will subtract the power. So it means the two power one minus one, which is equal to two power zero, which is equal to what one, because any number divided itself will be equal to one. So that's it from where the rule, this rule. So any number power zero, the number equals to uh, one. The second rule is A is a rational number and N is a positive integer. Then negative A power N equals A power N. If N is an even number, okay, so it will cancel the negative sign here. If N is an odd number, so the negative will be out like that. So negative a all power n, it will be negative a power n. Let's have an experiment like negative 2 all power 2. You have here negative 2, here power 2, but here negative 2 all power 3. Okay, let's check the answer. Negative 2 power 2, 2 here is an even number. And we said that we will cancel the negative sign. It will be a power n, which is 2 power 2. 2 power 2, it means 2 by 2, it's equal 4. Why? Because 
you have here what is the meaning of negative two power two it means the negative two will be repeated two times by the multiplication operation so it will be negative two by negative two do you remember negative by negative equals positive and two by two equals four so it will be negative two by negative two which is equal four so we cancel the negative sign here but now negative two if we have negative two all power three let's just store it to answer it it will be negative two multiplying by negative two multiplying by negative two as we talk that the power it means a repeated multiplication so i will repeat the number three times so negative two will be repeated three times by the multiplication so it will be negative two by negative two by negative two negative by negative positive positive by negative negative two by two four by two eight so the answer will be negative eight do you see or do you notice that we have negative here okay so negative will be fixed uh, 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 beside the number because it is an odd number but here in the even number negative will be cancelled because negative by negative positive if you repeat negative four times negative by negative positive negative by negative positive positive by positive equals positive so it will be positive number all the time when the power will be an even number but if the power will be an odd number so uh, the sign will be fixed the negative sign will be fixed this is the second rule. The third rule, uh, sorry, let's uh, start to solve some exercise. Number one, two over three, all power two, multiplying by nine power four. Let's just start to answer together. What is the meaning of two over three power two? It means two over three repeated two times by the multiplication operation. So it means the two over three by two over three. Let's just start to, to, to have the answer uh, now, two by two equals four over three by three equals nine. This is multiplying by what here? By nine over four. So the answer now will be huh, four divided by four. If you wanted to simplify, it was one and nine divided nine equals one. So the answer will be one. Example number two, if you have X equals half, y equals third find the value of x plus y all power three step number one you should substitute cancel the value of x and start to substitute what is the value of x here half plus y what is the value of y here third so half plus third all power three let's start start to finish the, this answer make the addition operation so half plus third equals the five over two. all to the power what to the power three you can solve it by two ways the first way is to say five over six to the power three it means five over six will be repeated three times by the multiplication operation so it means five over six by five over six by five over six Yes, and you have, I know that you have the calculator and it will help you. Uh, so five by five by five equals 125 over six by six by six equals 200 seconds. You can use the next rule, which is you can distribute the power on the numerator or among the numerator and the denominator. So it will be five power three over six to power three and also it will be 125 over 200 in seconds. The next type of exercise that's the opposite that you have number one, nine over 16 equals what over what power what? So, step number one, you should remember that two power two, four, it's, it's very important. Two power three, eight, because two, when you repeat two or three times, two by two by two, eight. Uh, three power two, nine. Okay, three power three, 27. Uh, 4 power 2, 16. 4 power 3, 64. 5 power 2, 25. 5 power 3, 125. And so on. يعني إحنا عايزين بشكل عام نكون من الأول كده مش حافظين ولا حاجة بس try to remember. Try to remember them uh, because you will need it. Okay, number A. 9 over 16 equals what over what? Power what? 9, huh? 9, yes, it's a 3 power 2. So 3 power 2 gives me 9. 
but we deal with each other, the power will be distributed on the numerator and the denominator. So what power two gives me 16? Yes, four, excellent. So it will be three over four, all power two. Number B, two and a quarter. Can you find the answer? You should make them in the form of um, a fraction and the after that is started to answer them. Two by four, eight plus one, nine, so it will be nine over four. Let's start to get the answer. This is what as a fraction power what? So nine, it's what power what? Huh? Three power two equals nine. So you can write it in the form of three power two. So give me nine. So give me nine. Okay. Over what? What power two gives me four? Two power two gives me four. So the answer will be three over two all power two. 64%. It means what? 64% it means 64 over 100 because we know that the percentage it means uh, that you have a fraction if the denominator is 100. So 64 over 100. Can you write it in the in the simplest form uh, and have a power? Okay, it's very easy to discover the denominator. 100 is to 10 power 2. Yes. Yeah? So now the rule on uh, getting the numerator is what? What power 2 gives me 64? You have um, 8 power 2 gives me 64. Because 8 by 8, 64. So step number 1, convert the uh, percentage to be as a fraction, in the form of a fraction. And after that, it started to simplify it and discover what over what power was. The last one, number D, 0 0.027. It means what as a fraction? It means a 27. Yes. And the decimal point after 1, 2, 3. So it means over 1,000. As we made before. Huh? Can you remember? You can make the denominator. It's very easy way. 1,000, it means a 10 power 3. 10 by 10 by 10 gives me 1,000. Can you tell me what is the numerator? 27, it means what power 3 gives me 27? 3 power 3 gives me 27 because when you repeat 3, 3 times, 3 by 3 by 3, it will be 27. And as we know, that the power will be distributed among the denominator and the denominator. Um, okay, we will complete solving some exercise. Number 1, uh, 1 over 3 power 2, it means 1 over 3 multiplying by 1 over 3. So the answer will be. 1 by 1 equals 1, and 3 by 3 equals to 9. Okay. Example number 2. Negative 1 over 8, all power 2. Huh? Do you notice that you have here an even number? And we said before, if I have a negative sign, and in the same time, an even number, it will be cancelled. The negative sign will be cancelled. Because negative by negative equals positive. So, 1 over 8 will be repeated two times. 1 by 1, 1. And 8 by 8, 64. Number 3, 1 over 5, all power 4. So it means 1 over 5 will be repeated uh, 4 times. So it will be 1 over 5 by 1 over 5 by 1 over 5 by 1 over 5. And you have another way that you can say that it means the power will be distributed up and down. So 1 power 4 over 5 power 4. So the answer will be 1 power 4, 1. And 5 power 4, 625. Okay. Example number 5, 3 over 7, all power 0 equals 1. Number 6, 2 and 3 over 7, all power 2. 2 by 7 equals 14. 14 plus 3 equals 17. 17 over 7, so this uh, this is a fraction, so 17 over 7, all power 2. So you can find the answer, which is 289, sorry, so because 17 over 7 by 17 over 7, so it will be 289 over 49. Uh, the last example that we have 3x all power 2 by 1 over x. Okay, so 3x all power 2, it means 3x by 3x. 3x will be repeated two times. Let's start to find the answer. 3 by 3, 9. x by x, 
When you have the same base, so you will add the power. So x by x, x power 2. Multiply by 1 over x. Let's just start to multiply the numbers, and after that, start uh, to multiply the variables. 9 by 1, 9. After that, x to power 2 up, and here is 1 over x. So it is the same when you simplify. So you will divide them together. So x to power 2 divided by x. Why we divide? Because you have in the numerator and in the denominator. When you have a number in the numerator and the denominator, you simplify them together. So you will divide them together. Okay, but up multiplied by up, down multiplying by down. But up and down, uh, numerator and denominator, you uh, will divide them together. So x to power 2 divided x to power 1, you will subtract the power 2 minus 1, 1, so it will be mine x down. Uh, example number 4, sorry, uh, you have here negative sign, negative, uh, because here is an odd number, so 3 is an odd number, so a negative will be negative here, and after that, 5 power 3 over 6 to power 3, it will be 125 over um, 600, sorry, 250. Um, okay. The next type of question, uh, this is the same, but I will take number 10. Uh, 5x over y all power 2, you should distribute the power, so power 2 will be up and down. So 5x by 5x, 5 by 5, we mean 5. x by x, x power 2. You are with me? So we started by the number and after that it starts the value. Over y power 2, distribute the power on the denominator, so it will be y power 2. No problem. This is multiplied by negative 2xy over 15. You have a calculator, you can make 25 multiplied by negative 2, 25 by negative 2 divided by 15. Uh, if you wanted to simplify them, let's simplify them together. 25 divided by 5, 5. 15 divided by 3. So 5 by negative 2, negative 10 over 3. So this uh, this is a negative 10 over 3 according to the uh, numbers. Let's start to multiply the um, variables. x to power 2 multiplying by x to power 1. So we will add the power. It will be x to power 3. After that, take care about that. You have here y, and you have here y power 2. What is the meaning of y power 2? y multiplying by y. That's the meaning of y power 2. So you can simplify y with 1y from here. So what is the remainder? The remainder is 1y in the denominator. So the answer will be negative 10 x to power 3 over 3y. Number two, find the area of a square whose side length 3y over 5. You have here the side, and the side, all sides of the square are equal, of course you know, and the area of the square side by side. Uh, what is the value of the side here? 3y over 5. So we will multiply 3y over 5 by 3y over 5. Or you can say 3y over 5 all power 2, because we will repeat the side two times. Side by side, you will add the power. It means the side power 2. What is the side here? 3y over 5, power 2. So start to multiply 3y over 5 by 3y over 5. 3 by 3, 9. 5 by 5 here in the denominator, 25. Up you have y power 2, so it will be y power 2. This example we answered it before. Uh, okay, number three, find the volume of the cube, 5x over 4. Uh, the volume is what? So you have the volume of cube, side power 3. Or you can say side by side by side, as you like, no problem. The volume of cube, side by side by side. So you will repeat the value three times. So it means 5x over 4 to the power, all power 3. Or you can say 5x over 4 by 5x over 4 by 5x over 4. It's no problem. You can do uh, twice of, um, of the solutions. No problem, as you like. So start to multiply the numbers together. 5 by 5 by 5, 125. Over 4 by 4 by 4, 64. You have up the variable x by x by x. Add the power half, which will be x power 3. 
Okay, thank you for watching and uh, uh, sort of study. Uh, thank you. Goodbye.